three terms in the Idaho legislature, and I wasn't going to speak this morning. I came to witness the swearing in of the new trustees. Um, I have a couple of comments that I'd like to make. First of all, I'd like to dispel some of the misconceptions that have been presented at this meeting and others as well. First of all, I've heard many, many people, not just here, but at the Capitol and in the Education Committee on which I serve, where we had these hearings on the library bill, quote, I have never seen any of these materials that have been talked about. With a raise of hands, would you please raise your hand if you have seen a baby pigeon? <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, what, our, our policies ask that you address the board and not the audience. Thank you. Thank if you've never seen a baby pigeon, that isn't because it doesn't exist. They're there, it's a fact of life. You can't have adult pigeons without it. So just because people have not seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. The constitutional right, so-called right of separation of church and state, there is no such constitutional right. That has been repeated over and over again. We talk about censorship. We're not talking about censorship here. We're talking about keeping inappropriate material away from children, period, end of story. Everything else that's been discussed in this and many other meetings is immaterial. We want to keep this material away from the children. It's inappropriate. Uh, next, uh, it was stated this morning that we're catering to a small group of people. In the legislature, we attempted several uh, uh, tries at strengthening the existing law, which is Idaho Code 1815-15, or 1515, which you can look up. It is state law now. Everybody has to abide by it. In 1972, when the law was first passed, it was uh, given an affirmative defense to libraries and museums to not apply that law. But back in 1972, we were in the Leave it to Beaver and Father Knows Best era. Nobody anticipated this kind of pornography being available to children. Okay? <clears throat> it's a totally different world. So we're cleaning up the laws to make it pertinent to today's culture. Uh, now, as far as a small group of people, 46 out of 70 members of the House of uh, Representatives voted to override the governor's veto. That is a 65% majority. That's one vote short of a super majority. That is not a small group of people. Those legislators, those members of the House, were elected in every one of the 35 legislative districts throughout the state. They represent one million voters throughout the state. This is not a small group of people that are trying to push reform of the library system. Okay, thank you, that's <laughs>